Hello and welcome to Newman University's NSP core course, Bread and Circuses. I'm calling this a navigation video because I'd like to have us work through together for a few minutes here the main elements of our course, how to navigate through some of the issues, and also some of the policies of the class. So let's begin. I typically enter through faculty and staff. You may go through current students, and that's fine. Let's see. And when you get to Blackboard, click on Blackboard link, right? And depending upon what kind of courses you have, I have far too many clearly, we're going to go to the Creative Spirit. If you click on the My Courses, you will find a little more detail, and our class is NSP 4303A, Summer 18, The Creative Spirit. So when this class comes up, the very first page you'll see, I suppose it's a good example of a home page, is this one with the red banner across the top. Please take the time to read through all the materials here. You'll find things like technology standards, you'll find out a little bit about me and my contact information. Here you'll see the course description, which we discussed in a previous video, and also the objectives that we have for the Newman Studies program, but also for this component of the Newman Studies program. As you continue to scroll down, you'll see our course syllabus, the course calendar, where everything is represented there as well as all of the requirements. Please take a look at both the syllabus and the course calendar to keep you grounded and keep you moving forward in a, in a proper manner. And then you'll also see other links. Uh, for example, we have a final project in this class. We'll talk a little more about that. And here's our reading materials and then other policies, expectations, uh, proper netiquette, etc. Please do take the time to read through all of these things. The last thing you want is a video with me reading these things out loud to you. So please take the time to read through all of these things. Once you do, please then scroll back up or arrow back and where we want to head next is weekly content. You'll spend most of your time, I'm assuming, going through these various weeks uh, in this class. This is an eight-week class. It is not a correspondence class in that you can just do things whenever you would like to do them. No, I'm sorry, we've got weekly objectives and weekly deadlines. Uh, when you click on the weekly course content, you'll actually see these eight weeks outlined here with all your objectives, your assignments, and ready to go. So for example, in week one, we'll be looking at Antigone, the play from Sophocles, and the city of Athens. And our objectives are not only to get started on that, but to familiarize ourselves with the expectations of this course as we're doing this video, uh, explore the role of the city in history, so a big overview of that, and then get more pointed and read our Sophocles Antigone. We'll consider the role of the theater in ancient Athens and its relationship to society and politics. The tasks you'll need to perform this week include the following, reading all the materials, viewing all the videos in the week one content folder. You'll contribute to not one, not two, but three discussions. We got to get going. And you'll also complete an assignment that we're calling out and about. So if you click on uh, the link up here to week one, you'll start to see all the materials that are here. So for example, first things, uh, this, this video that we're talking about right now is in first things. You'll uh, read the play Antigone this week, thank you very much. And you'll see these videos, these folders will have discussion of the history of the city, uh, Athens and Antigone, and so forth and so on. And then you'll also see the assignments that are due on a weekly basis. And in this particular week, we have both an assignment due on Sunday and an assignment due Friday. Most assignments in this class are due either Friday or Sunday. We have discussions, we have quizzes that are typically due on Fridays, and then we have projects and papers that are typically due on Sunday. You can do these ahead of time. You don't have to wait for Friday to turn in discussions and quizzes. You don't have to wait for Sunday to turn in projects and papers. That's fine, but uh, these will be our hard and fast deadlines. Let's talk a little bit more about some of these projects, discussions in particular. When you come to your content area, you will find a a prompt, week one discussion, due by Friday. 
feel free to click on that, that link. And what you'll see is this screen. You might think, oh, wow, there's nothing here. No, no. The first thing you need to do is create a thread. You won't be able to see anybody else's posts until you create your own. So click on that Create a Thread. And as you do so, you'll want to craft a subject line. You'll want to contribute your analysis for this particular discussion topic. If you need to upload a file, just click on Browse My Computer and do that. And don't forget to hit submit when you're done, right? So um, those are our discussions and that's the protocol there. Again, discussions are typically due on Fridays and we'd like you to come to these discussions with some purpose, right? With some purpose. Uh, discussions are a significant portion of your grade. They're 200 points of a 1,000 point class, so 20% of your grade. Think of these discussions as exams or quizzes. Come prepared to offer your perspective on the questions that we're dealing with in class. But also be prepared to support your position with the readings you have done for class. Discussion boards, yes, are a great place to air your opinions on some of our really controversial topics, and we have a few. But it's also a time to support those opinions. It's great to have opinions, it's great to express them, but please just come prepared to support them with some of the readings you've done or some of the research you're working on. Please don't write these up on your phone. Um, some of you are excellent at texting. You really are. But please, give these some thought. Don't just make these an afterthought. Oh, I've got to get that discussion in today. Darn it, I completely forgot about it. Don't give yourself some focus, some time. Don't just rush when you're off rushing to work, going, taking the kids to soccer camp. Don't, don't do that. So give them some time, right? They're, again, 20% of your total grade. There are quizzes in this class. You don't have any in week one, but week two, they're going to start coming. There are four quizzes in total that are reading quizzes. For each quiz, you'll have 60 minutes to complete the quiz. You'll have one attempt. So please come again like your discussions. Come prepared. Come with your materials around you. Find a quiet place and a time to uh, when you can actually focus on, on these, on these uh, quizzes, right? So you'll have one shot, 60 minutes, come prepared. There aren't a ton of questions. I think most people will be able to get through those quizzes in at least half that time, if not even less. So on Fridays, typically, discussions and quizzes will be due. On Sundays, you may have, sun, we're considering Sunday to be sort of the end of the week, if you will, with Monday starting a new, a new work week. On Sundays, you'll typically have projects or you'll have um, a paper due. Our first one is this out and about assignment. Again, we'll click on that link and then you'll see down here at the bottom that, that your document will download for you. When that comes up, you'll see the assignment. And here we go in this case. So out and about in your city or your town or your county. Uh, and as you can see, this is a 100-point project. This is 10% of your final grade, so get this done. Find an activity associated with the city and the arts or entertainment and just go to it, for real, not virtually, if at all possible. Now, I understand some of you will be traveling, some of you will have work or family obligations, and you won't actually be able to get out and about. That's okay. That's okay, but it would be great if you could actually get there and experience this place that you're talking about. For example, if you're in Wichita, spend time at the Veterans Memorial along the river. Visit the Keeper of the Plains. Go to Exploration Place. Review a concert at Intros Bank Arena. Go to Botanica, the Museum of World Treasures. If you go to the Wichita Art Museum on Saturday, it's free. Go to a venue, a place, an event that is somehow supported by taxpayer dollars. Taxpayer dollars. And most of the, all of these places that I've listed here certainly are. Find some activity or place that is sponsored by the city or county and reflect upon it. It could be a park. It could be a running track, a running trail, right? Present your results in writing. Please take care to present your writing in a professional manner. Please offer one paragraph on what you did and where you went. Then another paragraph on how your event reflects, reflects one of the goals for the creative spirit, as noted below. So get familiar with these goals. Get familiar with how your work will relate to them. This assignment should be posted to the discussion board at Blackboard related to this topic no later than Sunday midnight, June 17.
So once a week, you'll typically have a project like this or a short paper due on Sunday. As always, please craft these papers in a Microsoft Word document or some other software or a PDF. Uh, check for grammar, spell check it, make sure it makes sense, add images if that is helpful or important. Finally, for this video at least, there is a final project for this class. And it's referenced in our homepage. You have a link for it. And the final project, you should consider it sort of a final exam, a cumulative final exam. But I also want you to realize that I'm really expecting that we will be building this project as we go. That you can use the events you go to, you can use the writing you're doing to create this final project. There's more to come on that, but please take a look, read through this. We're going to be doing it in parts. We're going to be doing it in parts. Again, on my notes here, I'd like you to try to find ways to use the various papers, the projects, the analysis you're working on at discussion boards, the reading you're doing every week to actually build this final project. Think of this final project as a cumulative open book exam. Again, take a look at this, read through all this material, and see what you think. As you can see, there are a lot of moving parts in this class. So get going as soon as practical. Review the course site and see if you have any questions I can answer. If you find any links, if you find any problems in the course site that need to be addressed, please let me know. Give me an email. Give me a phone call. Let me know there's a problem. The next thing you need to do is start working on Antigone. Read this play by Sophocles. It's a short one, but read it. Read it through. Uh, read the introduction to the play. I've, if you have the edition that I've assigned, if you have another edition, read that introduction. It's always nice to have a little background. But read the introduction to the play. Read the play itself. And I'm suggesting that you read it from the perspective of the city of Thebes the setting of the play, or you read it from the perspective of the city of Athens. Keep in mind our goal to think about connections to cities, etc. If you remember the audience, would you think that the play has a message for the city? Is it obvious? Is there an obvious message? Do you have to really look for it? If so, what is it? If no, then what's the point of the play, do you think? Is there more than one message for the city as you read through that play, right? So get going. I'm excited you're here. This is a topic near and dear to my heart. I get very excited about this idea of the role of the city and its public spaces and places, especially as how that helps to create identity for a culture, a history, a people. Please get going. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I look forward to working with you. Off we go.